Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. And we are the RC Sailors. Today we have a really cool little helicopter to show you that comes in a both ready to fly and an almost ready to fly version, the 1SQ VCAM. This is the smallest copter we have ever seen. It sounds like a little bug flying around. It's so cute. <laughs> it sound, when it's flying, it sounds like a swarm of, of bumblebees. It's really <laughs> awesome. But believe it or not, this helicopter is seven channels. It uses the first four channels for the controlled flight and the last three channels to take a picture. There's a little button on the back of the ready to fly version transmitter to take the picture. There's one for the video to turn it on and off and switch back and forth. And then you have an auxiliary button on the top corner to do flips. Yeah, this copter does flips, pictures, and video. More craziness for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> and Abby can and will fly this copter for you guys. It's no harder to fly than anything else that she's flown on the channel. One question we always get from our viewers is, how much is it? This came um, ready to fly at $130. Yeah, that's right. And you can also get it bind and fly. That's right. How much was that? $100. $100. So pretty affordable, especially since it has a camera on it. Whether or not you get the ready to fly version of this copter or the bind and fly version, which means you have your own transmitter, like this. For example, this is the Tactic TTX 650. It has a memory of 20, and if you do have a universal transmitter like this, you can save $30 and just get the copter. Now, the only difference in that price for $100 and $130 is this transmitter, the one that they'll send you. It works perfectly fine. There's no need to want to buy an expensive transmitter for this. Both versions also come with a small baggie of spare props. There are two black props and two white props. Both versions come with this USB converter. This is pretty important if you are looking forward to flying with the camera because you put your micro SD card, yeah, everybody zoom in there. You put your micro SD card that goes in the copter. It's two gigs, which is more than enough for your uh, five to seven minute flight times and this will allow you to just plug it right in to the USB port and then into your computer. It makes it a lot easier to pull the files off of it for most PCs. It comes with its own charger, also uses USB and it is a LiPo battery. Uh, I like the method of charging. It probably only takes about 45 minutes or less I haven't found myself sitting around waiting for this thing to charge. I just plug it in when I know I'm going to have maybe a half hour of free time and usually by the time I check on it, it's done charging. So it's a good quick charge time. One of the main reasons someone would probably buy this copter is because of the camera. And so you're probably wondering about the camera quality. The still images that it can take, unless you're hovering perfectly still, they will be kind of blurry. That's what fuzzy. we notice. They're a little fuzzy and sometimes you can get the motion in the picture of if you take it while you're turning, it'll have that swipe effect on the picture. Yeah. The video quality is not as good as like our GoPro on our huge quadcopter, right. but if you don't have a good camera, let's say maybe you mount your iPhone or camera, or camera phone, on your copter, this is probably better than it. I think the camera quality is a lot better. I have an iPhone 4, mm -hmm. and this thing puts my iPhone 4 videos to shame. It was surprising. When I when I saw the pictures, I thought I thought the quality of the camera was was going to be poor because it was so small. But when we started playing the videos, that really that's where it shined. The video quality was great, and we'll show you guys a few samples of it when we fly this for you as well. And I don't think it had a big vibration effect either. There right? wasn't. Looked... Yeah, I did not see a jello effect. So for this little quadcopter to come ready to fly with everything you need. It has lights too. It does have lights. <laughs> it's got two red lights on the back and two white lights on the front. 
So even night flying is possible with this thing. It's got everything you need if you want to learn how to fly a quad for an affordable price. If you already know how to fly a quad and you just want some mini thing that'll fly both inside, outside, do stunts, and have a camera to, to play with your kids, a little spy cam or something, kids would absolutely love this. It's a great All combination. Day. It really is. For the price, it still kind of blows my mind. It really is amazing what it can do. For $100, a video game is $60 these days. And if you pay a hundred bucks, you can you can be playing a real life video game outside. And hours of fun. Hours and hours of fun. Yeah, this thing is great. We like to end our video reviews on our channel with our recommendation as to whether or not we think it's worth the money. Abby, what do you think? It has a camera and it does flips. Of course, we'd recommend this. This thing is awesome. For the amount of money, this copter does more than anything else we've featured on the channel. $100, you can be flying with a camera, and uh, if you don't have a transmitter, $130, and that is a great, great price tag. Yeah, great bang for your buck. We want to thank Hobbyco for sponsoring this episode on our channel, and also make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can keep having some RC fun with us, and make sure you go check out some of our other videos. Let's go fly this thing!
VCAM copter. The box that we got it in uh, looks just like this. We didn't do an unboxing, but I do want to mention that it's worth holding on to this box. It's got a handle on it, and everything everything is easily stored back inside this thing. It makes for a great carrying case and an amazing storing, uh, just a storing box. If you travel a lot like we do back and forth from parents' houses to where we live to airport to this to that, you need to keep this thing because it'll save your copter from getting squashed. Yeah, so don't tear into it and rip it open. Try to keep the case. It's one of the nicest little boxes that we've gotten on any vehicle and I just I just thought it was worth mentioning because it's a nice little tip that uh, it'll come in handy. You'll appreciate this box. It's really nice.